Hey everyone and welcome back to Aphrodite Mininil Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It is very much appreciated. I'm just going to be doing a bonus reading for Scorpio. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I do say he or she, but sometimes the story might be vice versa. All right, Scorpio. Um, this reading is, is a little bit of guidance and a little bit of a tarot reading and a little bit of direction, okay? Um, Scorpio, you know, like, I had a song that came to me after I did your last reading and this is why you're getting the bonus reading. And it's, the song is um, Wake Me Up When It's All Over, okay? And, you know, in the beginning when, uh, I don't know if I got the words right, but he says, um, feeling my way through the darkness, but I only have two hands. I don't know where the journey um, began, but I know I know where to start or, or something like that. I can't remember. You have to go look at the, the lyrics, okay? And it sort of prompted me to do this reading for you, Scorpio, because I feel like for a lot of you Scorpios throughout your life, you know, the connections that you've made, the people that you've met, okay, the ones that have come in and out, okay. I once heard this saying where there are three people in your life. There are the left people, you know, they come into your life and then they leave. The wind blows them away. Then there's the branch people. These are the people that you kind of like have the experience with, uh, you know, and are they strong enough to either stay in the connection or is the branch going to break? And then there's the root people. The root people are the ones that ground themselves, stay in your life. They're there for a long, long time. They're, they're grounded, okay? So the connections that you've made throughout your life, Scorpio, where, you know, you had these loving connections that always start off beautifully and then bang, it's done. It's gone for whatever reason. Um, for a lot of you, it's always been because somebody else has interfered in the relationship, okay? Somebody else has gotten in the middle. Somebody else has taken that person away from you, all right? Now, for some of you, there is somebody that you know that is meant for you. There is somebody that you know that is meant to be a part of your life. And no matter what happens, this person will always be a part of your life, okay? But... There's always going to be that constant interference, but is the connection strong enough? Like we've had a lot of people that have interfered and a lot of people that are advising you, Scorpio, move away from this. Scorpio, don't stay this, don't trap yourself to this, you know. But somehow you feel the connection. And intuitively you kind of know and you're smart enough to know that shit is going to happen regardless whether the connection is beautiful or not. Shit is going to happen, okay? So there's no such thing as perfection in this world. We have to take the good and we have to take the bad, okay? And where we can make it good and where we can make it better, we put our efforts into that. And that's what I feel that you do, Scorpio. But you need the other person to work with you, all right? Now, you do have this soulmate connection. Either way, you're going to get this couple up, whether it's with this person or with somebody new, okay? But what I feel, Scorpio, is that while you're moving forward, somebody else is trapped, okay? Now, even though this person may have confessed their love to you, may have, you know, like paid you a lot of attention and gave you what you wanted, you're still feeling your way through the darkness with this person, you're still feeling your way. You don't know how it's going to end, but you're enjoying the ride. That's what I'm I'm trying to tell you. So it doesn't matter what people are telling you. It doesn't matter what people are, um, are advising you to do. You will use your own judgment at the end of the day. Scorpio doesn't leave something unless they're prepared to leave it. And you, usually when you leave something, Scorpio, it is quicker than lightning. Okay, the, the tower comes in, you say what you want to say, and you're done. And then you go through this grief and sorrow because you either regret your actions or you know that you could have done things better. Okay, 
Now, for those of you that have done that, you haven't lost this person. You haven't lost th this person. They're still mentally tied and trapped to you, okay? Now, they may have all the excuses in the world. You know, they're, they're with somebody else. They can't get out of that position, you know. But you don't want that to stop you from moving forward, Scorpio, okay? So what I'm seeing is that this person is in is your wish fulfillment. This person is your soulmate. This person is mentally tied and trapped to you also, okay? Um, where they're mentally tied and trapped, you're more in your feelings of being trapped in your feelings, okay? But there is an opportunity here, Scorpio, where you will make a decision. And that decision is going to lead you to a victory. Okay, job well done, Scorpio. Now, even if everybody else has a doubt, you don't. You don't have any doubt at all because you know you're going to receive this. Okay, so you're really not listening to, to people telling you move away from this or this person is a player or this person is married or this person is whatever. Deep down inside, you kind of know who this person is and this person is your actual soulmate and twin flame. And that's why there will always be a lot of people interfering and you know this because you're using your intuition, okay? But you also know that things are going to be revealed. You also know that nothing is ever kept a secret, okay? And the best thing you ever did with this person, Scorpio, was be real, to be yourself, okay? You took a risk, you took a chance, um, as long as it was safe, but you took a risk, you took a chance, and by being real is what made this person fall in love with you, okay? But you're learning to trust your intuition, Scorpio. Now, if your intuition is saying to you, run, then go ahead and run. But if your intuition is saying, let's give this person time. Let's see where this is going. I want to feel my way through the darkness. I don't know how it's going to end. But I know what I'm going to get at the end of the day. Okay. So... Go have a look at the lyrics to that song, Scorpio, because I feel like there, there is something in that song that is going to explain who you are, what you're going through, and where you're going, okay? Now, if it's got to do with something that's work, you wish to work with this person, you wish to um, give them some sort of a, an offer, okay? And this person might be like, Oh, how am I going to do this? You know, I can't do this. I don't know if I can do this. But it's got nothing to do with you. You're right. You're correct with what you want to do. It's more this person that doesn't know what to do. Okay. But Scorpio, I, what I feel like is that your life is about to take a turn. Your life is about to take, you know, you're about to get in charge of your life. You're not going to allow people to put you down. You're not going to allow people to tell you that you're wrong because intuitively you actually know that you're right, okay? Now, this person makes you happy. This person is very loving, very giving. This person just wants to spend as much time with you as they possibly can, but there's been a lot of things that is going to get in your way, Scorpio, okay? So are you strong enough and are you mentally strong enough to be able to go on this journey or do you want to set yourself free okay and open up your heart to other people that you are struggling to make a connection with because this connection is so strong that you feel you're not going to find this in anybody again okay but the trick to it all Scorpio is to be real when you meet somebody and if they like you they like you and if they don't like you I'll, I'll see you later because I like who I am I like who I am. I like who I've become. I like my intuition and my gut is never wrong and I trust it, okay? So there may be a time of separation between you and this person where, you know, they're dealing with their issues and you're moving on and you're just meeting other people, allowing other people into your life, you know. Um, but the thing is that whenever you receive these offers that are coming your way um 
your your gut, your intuition is saying to you, no, thank you. No, thank you. I'm good. You might go out for a dinner, you start talking, you get to know them, you have a good laugh and everything, but then you start picking up on their energy, their energy is not like yours, and you can't keep up your energy just to satisfy this person who is a stranger to you sitting in front of you. So, no, see you later, thank you. You know, you should have been real, you should have showed me who you were, okay? Um, because you make people comfortable, there's no reason why people shouldn't be comfortable around you. You know, you're easygoing, you're... You're, you know, a very welcoming person, um, but you're not trusting, okay, Scorpio. So um, until you can trust, then you will allow that, that person into your life regardless, okay. Um, you are an empath, Scorpio, so and the majority of you are empaths, all right. So let's talk about the number nine, Scorpio. A lot of Scorpio's lucky number is number nine. A lot of Scorpio's life path number is number nine. And 2025 is also a number nine year. So it will be a year of completion. It will be a year of your destiny, who the person is supposed to be in your life. Um, you know, luck is going to be on your side. And the humanitarian in you by helping other people is going to really, really start showing. People will gravitate to you for, for advice, Scorpio, for your, for your guidance, for your, for your help. Your intuition will be very, very heightened in 2025. Okay. So that is a year to look forward to. This year was a year of completion for you. Okay. What was meant to end will end. But if this person is still in your life in 2025, you know that this is your person. You know that this is the person that you're meant to be with. And you're absolutely right, Scorpio. Do not doubt yourself. No matter what anybody tells you, you go with your feelings. You don't go logically on this because logically it would not make sense. Logically, you would run away from all this. But your feelings are saying this is the one. This is the one that you will have a new beginning with. This is the one that will make you happy, okay? This is the one that the sun is going to shine again after you being at a crossroad and meeting other people and not accepting low life off offers, okay? So this card indicates here, Scorpio, that your tears of happiness, your tears of sorrow will turn into tears of happiness, okay? Someone is coming in to confess their loves, their love for you, okay, after having some sort of doubt and disappointment, okay? And you will be coming in as somebody who is very balanced, very understanding, you know, very much um, a giving person, okay? But somebody does not want to keep you a secret anymore, Scorpio. Somebody wants to, like, give you this offer. Somebody wants to have this victory with you and somebody wants their happiness with you, okay? Um, so, Scorpio, I think you need to stay on this path that, that you're on where you're trusting your intuition, trusting your gut, trusting, you know, what the universe has, has in store for you. It's not stopping you from moving on, you know, and enjoying your life, but... At the same time, you're not accepting these offers because you know that this is coming in, Scorpio, okay? So everything that you have learned in, you know, in these disastrous relationships that have, you know, broken up or whatever, they're all the lessons that you needed to learn to, to have this one true person that comes into your life and recognising them and recognizing the signs now you may have thought that others that you met along the way was the true partner okay but no they were just lessons so if you're single right now okay and you have an inclination of who this person is that's going to be in your life and it doesn't matter whether you haven't spoken to them for a long time they are coming scorpio you know Trust your gut, trust your intuition because they are coming into your life and they will make you this beautiful offer. They will give you this connection and they will fulfill your wishes, okay? So for some of you, okay, um, 
you you want this person to to take some control of their life okay um because i kind of feel like that there, there was always this hesitation when it came to you scorpio but now they know who you are they know who you are time apart has served this per person um to reflect it's made this person reflect it's made this person realize that the opportunity that they could have had with you it's made this person realize that you know they had a beautiful connection with you because they're, they're struggling themselves Scorpio to find that connection and the truth is they will never find it they will never find that connection because you and this person were always meant to be you probably went through many cycles together many lifetimes together you know past life connection but the connection between you and this person and regardless whether you're still together or not you know who your person is Scorpio you know okay so this is coming Scorpio so clear the dance floor Clear the dance floor of what is not necessary anymore in your life and allow this cup of love to come into your life, Scorpio. Okay, so I wish you all the best, Scorpio. And, you know, I just want to say that I do have a special at the moment where there's five questions for $50. Take advantage of that because the Australian dollar and the American dollar, you're going to get more value. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I don't know how long it'll be running for, but it is currently running. So just shoot us through an email and my lovely daughter, assistant, Shireen, will get back to you as soon as possible. Okay. All right, Scorpio, wish you all the best and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.